America, I told you earlier this week, you're not on the verge of losing your country. I think you have lost your country. And we have some things that I'm going to show you tonight that I think will show you that, you know, it still can be turned around. But we are on the brink of World War III. If nobody else in the media will tell you, well, tough luck. I hope I'm wrong. Just pray and hope that this network, you know, five years from now, we can all go, <laughs> boy, were you a dummy. But let's remember, three years ago, I was on Fox telling you the same thing. Maybe in five years, we look at the Middle East, and it's all great, and it's Jeffersonian democracy. And we can all have a laugh, but we're not laughing now, are we? We are technically already at war with China, Russia, and Iran. It is a proxy war through Syria. The United States is extraordinarily vulnerable in this proxy war. I don't know if you saw For the Record last night. Please watch that. We have great producers that are um, uh, putting together this incredible show once a week now. It happens on Wednesday nights. Last night, we looked at the economic terrorism that struck us in 2008. And we're only worse off now. What the Fed is doing is tanking the dollar. Instead of stopping quantitative easing, which is printing, digitizing money, they've unexpectedly, not so much if you understand evil, unexpectedly kept it going. It's unsustainable to continue to print or digitize one trillion dollars in cash every year. And any talk of recovery is a joke. This is all smoke and mirrors. If you can't reduce it by five billion dollars a month, we don't have an economy. And we're in a lose-lose scenario. If you stop printing money, the house of cards falls down and the IMF has said, you destroy the whole world, so the whole world is angry at us. Two, if you continue printing money, you eventually collapse and the whole world is mad at you. And we're all poor. The arrogance of the Fed is astonishing. They think they're so smart that they can tinker with the system and make every problem go away. The Germans thought the same thing after World War I. So did Poland and Romania and Brazil in the 1990s. And more recently, Zimbabwe. Just because we're in the United States of America doesn't make us immune to hyperinflation. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to me there are any adults in the room who are willing to speak the truth to the American people. And the adults that are in the room don't understand what truth is because their evil detector is broken. We're going to find it hard to find an exit. I know I um, get made fun of for, you know, advising people to prepare. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know how you can survey the news every day and not see any other possible solution other than buckle up, get ready. It's getting closer, but it's going to be okay because I truly believe that most people are good. And as long as we are good and know where the source of good comes from, evil comes from one place, good comes from another. We will survive. So it's important that we build ourselves up, tell each other the truth of what's really going on, but then also find the stories where people are doing the right thing and figure out what it is that makes these people special. Why are they making a difference? From the six regular people who started the Colorado recall effort to the bikers who started a Facebook page which led to thousands of bikers descending on DC to the 19 year old kid who confronted a thief at Dairy Queen that I'm going to tell you about a little later talked to this kid earlier today to the mom who turned in her 18 year old son after she learned that he robbed an 85 year old vet rough waters are on the horizon we have to realize that these things are coming but we've seen them before and we've survived but we prepared, not just temporally, but spiritually as well. Focus on being a better person than you were today. Keep making a difference. Focus on God. Because all the so-called leaders are focusing on things like being pen pals with dictators because they think they're going to solve it. Trust me in this one. Only God will solve these problems.